it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV. Today's tip is strategically decide who's going to say the toast and when they're going to say the toast. So here's the situation. About two months before the wedding, I, I got a disturbing message, I would say, from the bride who shared with me that she was telling me in confidence that the only reason she was getting married is because she was pregnant. And I was the only one that she was telling because she wanted to make sure at the toast that I put apple cider in her champagne flute instead of champagne. So of course, I don't like being the only one knowing things like that, but it seems to happen quite often where clients will tell me, oh, you're the only one that knows this, which again, is totally fine. They can completely trust me. I'm not gonna tell anyone. Well, that doesn't really work as a secret when you tell other people, especially when those other people have a microphone and they've been drinking. I'm sure you can only imagine what happened. The best man gets up to make the toast towards the end of dinner. He's had a, a few drinks, I might add. And he gets up and he's not even thinking. And he says, I'm so grateful to be here. I'm so excited that you asked me to be your best man. And I can't wait for you to bring this baby girl into the world. And he kept talking and telling stories. And you could hear a pin drop in the room when people should have been laughing at some of the things that he was saying. And I still don't think he quite picked up on it, but I was standing in the corner and the bride knew exactly where I was standing. And when he said that, she looked right at me and I just looked at her and she looked at the groom and he looked at her and looked at me and the groom had told the best man that they were pregnant and they just found out that they were having a baby girl, obviously. And so she recovered rather well though. After he was done, she stood up and said, well, everyone, surprise. We are in love and we are getting married and we are welcoming a baby girl into this world. And everybody clapped, but how horrifying would it be as a parent to sit there and hear from your future in-law's best friend that, that your daughter's having a baby? So just be really careful who you share secrets with. And unfortunately, that wedding was years ago and they're no longer together. The kid's probably like 10 now, that happened so long ago. But be sure that you know what people are gonna say, especially if there's secrets that you don't want to go told to the public. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.